as we all see to the left of me, statue in Anzac. It was commissioned last year to commemorate this very special event. And the artist, a local man, Steve Bristow, I don't know where Steve is in the crowd. Are you around, Steve? This man did an absolute wonderful job. He um, had a very limited budget. Uh, we came up with the idea of the uh, World War I digger with reverse arms. And uh, with the limited budget that we had, he came up with that concept. The concept is stainless steel, and it is 100 layers from each year since the landing. He's a, he's a very proud boy. He uh, did it for his grandfathers, but he had two grandfathers that served in the First World War. Uh, for a lot today. But um, it's a wonderful concept, and we have had comments from all over the place. We've had uh, Turkish art professors visiting from Turkey. Ankara, and uh, they came to specifically look at the statue and admire it and take photos and um, they were just absolutely thrilled with the, uh, the structure. So this concept is a legacy that we leave behind us uh, for the years to come, future generations to look and ponder what the early heads did for the centenary. We don't have any bells and whistles, it's a fairly solemn service. We're proud of our service here at Burley and um, I hope it continues for many years to come. But statue is a lasting legacy to Burley Heads community. It's from our Burley Heads OSL members, the Federal Government and the City of the Gold Coast. We all have a contribution to it. 